WebRTC lets you live stream through a web browser, but with Wowza Streaming Cloud, you can broadcast that stream to multiple destinations by repackaging the stream into HLS. Let's take a look at how. For this video, we'll be referencing Wowza documentation, connect a WebRTC stream to Wowza Streaming Cloud. Once you've logged into your Wowza Streaming Cloud account, go to Advanced and select Transcoders. It's from here you'll add Transcoder. Name the transcoder something memorable, and then assign it to be adaptive bitrate. Set the broadcast location to be closest to the broadcast source, and leave closed captions as none. Last, change the source protocol to WebRTC, the source delivery method to push to Wowza Streaming Cloud, and disable stream targets on transcoder's start. Now, add the transcoder. With the transcoder added, we'll also need to create an output. I'm just going to create one output and one stream target to Facebook Live, so I'll set a default output at 720p. Now I can add my stream target, in this case Facebook Live, and as this works directly with Facebook's API, we can just log in to connect. I'll name this target Facebook 18 frames, with a video destination of my page 18 frames. Now once it's been added, we're almost ready to test publish. Back in our docs, you can go to test the connection and download the WebRTC HTML example. Extract it, and then open the index.html file from the publish folder in a web browser. In some cases, you may need to host it on a web server utilizing SSL encryption. You'll also need to allow microphone and camera access. Back in Wowza Streaming Cloud, go to Transcoder Setup and get host server, application name, and the stream name. You may also want to start up the transcoder while you're there. Add these settings into your WebRTC HTML example, and if the transcoder is running, you can then hit Publish. In Wowza Streaming Cloud, you'll see a thumbnail under the Overview tab in about 5 seconds, along with health monitoring statistics. When you're ready to go live to Facebook, go under the Outputs and Targets tab, and under the Actions dropdown for Facebook, choose to enable the stream target. Once it's been enabled, you should be able to go to Facebook and in just a few seconds see it appear on your page. Once you're ready to end the broadcast, you can either disable individual stream targets or stop the transcoder completely. That's it for connecting a WebRTC stream to Wowza Streaming Cloud. Thanks for watching.